We need Snapdragon. We want Snapdragon. We need Snapdragon. Hey guys, this is Pesh from Beyond.com and Samsung recently announced the Galaxy S20 FE 5G variant in India and I was actually excited for this phone because a Samsung flagship with a Snapdragon chipset, that's pretty rare and that is something we've all been wanting for so long. Anyway, so this is the Galaxy S20 FE 5G and you know what, when I looked at the specs and the pricing, I felt this is not just a fan edition smartphone anymore. I felt this is a phone that's actually killing Samsung's 2021 flagship that is the Galaxy S21. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm going to divide this video into four sections. First up, how is the Galaxy S20 FE better than the S21? Second, what's similar between these two phones? Third, the processor because that's a very important aspect when it comes to Samsung flagships. And lastly, how is the S21 better than the S20 FE? So let's begin. So starting off with what's better in the Galaxy S20 FE 5G. First up, the S20 FE 5G comes with a 25 watt fast charger in the box. Now, as you guys know, the S21 phones only have the USB-C cable. So this is a big, big point for the S20 FE right there. In fact, I'm going to give it 25 points if you know what I mean. The S20 FE also has a bigger battery when compared to the S21. The S20 FE 5G comes with a bigger 4500mAh battery compared to a 4000mAh battery on the Galaxy S21. Now the battery performance of both these phones is not a big difference in my testing, especially because the S20 FE also has a larger display. But yes, overall the bigger battery in the S20 FE should last a bit longer in some situations. Another thing in the S20 FE that you don't find in the S21 is the micro SD slot. I mean, both these phones have the same 128GB base variant, but a micro SD slot is definitely a good thing to have. And yeah, the S21 does not have that, while the S20 FE has it. Now, moving on to the similarities between both these phones, there's actually quite a few of them. Actually, the reason why I feel the S20 FE 5G competes against Samsung's 2021 flagship so well is due to the similarities. First up, on the design front, both these phones have plastic backs with an aluminum frame. They both have a design that's IP68 rated for water and dust protection. And both these phones have support for wireless charging, reverse wireless charging and stereo speakers. Both these phones are also fairly comparable on the display front. So they both have 120Hz AMOLED displays with the FHD Plus resolution and both these displays are actually quite nice but there is a bit of difference. See the S20 FE 5G lets you set the display to either 120Hz or 60Hz while the S21's AMOLED is more adaptive. So the adaptive mode can basically tune the refresh rate depending on what's on the screen. Now, apart from this difference, both these displays look crisp and nice, but when I compared them closely, the S21's display is a little better. It's marginally brighter as you can see, and it also has better viewing angles. If you ask me, it's not a big deal. The S20 FE display actually looks great, but yeah, these differences are something you should know. Now, another area where I think both of these Samsung flagships are fairly comparable is on the camera front. See, specs-wise, both these phones have kind of similar main camera and ultra-wide-angle camera. The S21 does have a 64-megapixel telephoto lens, but strangely, it supports 3x hybrid zoom, while the S20 FE's 8-megapixel telephoto lens supports 3x optical zoom. Anyway, I've taken a lot of photos from both of these phones to get a better idea, so let me show you. So just take a quick look at these photos, and there are a few teeny tiny differences here and there. But overall, when I first looked at all of these photos, I thought they don't really look that different, do they? I mean, they both are premium Samsung phones, so they both have the rich color science. They both have 12 megapixel sensors, so details are kind of similar. Now, sometimes I notice the S21 amping up the contrast a little and in low light, some S21 photos are slightly sharper, but it's not a big difference if you really ask me. So the chipsets are always a big deal when it comes to Samsung phones because they kind of make them or break them and that's the big difference between these two phones. So the Galaxy S21 comes with the latest Exynos 2100 chipset which is the newer chipset. It's based on the 5 nanometer architecture, has the latest ARM cores. The S20 FE 5G on the other hand comes with last year's flagship Snapdragon 865 chipset which is also fairly powerful. Now, when you look at the benchmark scores of both the phones, the Exynos 2100 does well quite obviously, but it's not a big difference by any means. I mean, check out the Android scores of both these phones. 
Yes, the Exynos 2100 scores are higher, but the 865 is fairly comparable. Now, same with the Geekbench scores, as you can see here. See, again, these are just numbers. When it comes to real-world performance, the S21 might have more raw processing power, but in my basic tests, I found the performance on both these phones pretty comparable. Well, in my gaming test, after half an hour of COD Mobile on both these phones, the performance was fairly consistent on both phones with graphics set to high and frame rate set to max. Now, as for the temperature, the S21 was slightly warmer. It was around 41, 42 degrees, while the S20 FE was at 38 degrees. I also did a throttling test with the CPU throttling app and the Snapdragon chipset actually did better there. See how the S21 has more light green and orange in the graph indicating throttling? In fact, as you can see in the end result, it says the CPU throttled to 65% of its max performance in the S21, while the S20 FE 5G CPU throttled to only 85% of its max performance. So that is a very big difference and the S20 FE 5G is clearly better. Now do note that I started the test with both phones on 100%. So you know what, even though the S21 has the newer chipset, the S20 FE 5G with the Snapdragon 865 actually holds its own pretty well. So lastly, what's actually better in the Galaxy S21? Now first up, it has a more lightweight and compact design. Here are the dimensions and the weight of these phones and clearly the S21 is just a nice small phone. I definitely like that. Now it's not like the S20 FE is bulky or anything. I mean, it's a fairly handy phone, it's not heavy, but yeah, the S21 is more compact, I'll give it that. Also, the S21 has better screen protection. It has the latest Gorilla Glass Victus, while the S20 FE 5G has Gorilla Glass 5 on board. Now, another area where I found the S21 to be better is on the selfies front. Numbers wise, the FE has the upper hand with a 32 megapixel sensor, but in my testing, the selfies from the S21 just look better with better skin tones, sharpness, and details. Well, it's time for the verdict. So the price difference between the Galaxy S20 FE 5G and the Galaxy S21 is basically 22,000 rupees. And if you think about it, there's not a lot of difference between these two phones. Look, if you ask me, I would not call the S20 FE 5G just a fan edition phone anymore. I think it's more than that, more like a flagship edition phone because it basically has almost every flagship feature. It has a powerful chipset, IP rating, wireless charging, a 120Hz AMOLED display, good cameras, bigger battery, and a charger in the box. So clearly, the S20 FE just makes more sense to me as the Samsung flagship to buy. Well, I'd love to know what you guys think of the Galaxy S20 FE 5G and how does it compare to the Galaxy S21. So put down your thoughts in the comment section below. Also like this video, share it around for people who are confused between the S20 FE and other Samsung flagships. And yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.